The annual Hopkinton Police Department National Night Out event took place at the Hopkinton Town Common. A big turnout was on hand and a number of vendors were on the scene. So as part of this event, um, we're promoting the tick education and outreach we're doing in town, vaping and substance abuse programming that we're doing in the community. So we've got you know, locally specific brochures that we put together, uh, coupled with um, some of the state uh, Department of Public Health information and then just looking to educate people about you know, what the department's doing in general um, throughout the community. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh, and teaching parents what a jewel looks like. Ah, that's, okay. the, that's the key thing right now, is right. educating people about what, you know, what to look for in their kids. So, uh, it's a jewel and it's a uh, battery. Uh, charger for a computer so uh, so we're going to be offering a lot more education on that coming up this September to both parents and the students awesome Fuel Up to Play 60 is a campaign that's going on between the National Dairy Council and the NFL. So we go to local communities such as this one and we also go to Patriots Training Camp and we promote healthy eating for kids and exercise and we just like to have fun with the kids and have them learn something today and then we give them a prize. So it's just fun for everybody. So the wheel is for just for kids and they can come up and they can learn a little bit more about how to stay active and eat healthy different foods and what they should be eating every day. So we just want kids to come up and spin it. Well, we're uh, still right in the middle of it, but I, I think this is probably the um, uh, most attended event we've had over the years. And it's really starting to catch on, and we're really bringing the police and the community together to work on solving problems. And the whole essence of this is crime prevention, and we're doing our best to educate the public and just work with the public and let them know. All right, that kid's going to get arrested. <laughs> just kidding. But, um, no. Seriously, it's all about you know communication and, and letting the uh, public know the, what we do on a daily basis. And we've always had a great partnership with the, the citizens and uh, you couldn't ask for a better community when it comes to the police and the community working together. Can you talk about some of the different officers you have here today? Oh, well, we have uh, most of our, we pretty much have our whole department here, but uh, this is a big year because this is the first year that we're going to do a uh, demonstration with our newest K-9 Titan. And I know a lot of people are looking forward to that. And today's my birthday and... Uh, oh, happy birthday. Well, thank you. And I guess there might be a surprise for me on my birthday. I, I think I might have to take a bite on the sleeve. <laughs> I'm not too excited about it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Those in attendance also got a first-hand look at the Hopkinton K-9 unit in action. Sure, so I work um, obviously here at Hopkinton Police Department. Um, hi there, hello buddy. Um, my dog is a one and a half-ish year old German Shepherd and we just recently got out of um, Police Academy for patrol through Boston Police K-9 Academy. Um, he was one of my classmates too. So uh, during that 14 week period, we got certified in um, tracking um, criminal apprehension, building searches, area searches, evidence searches, um, agility, obedience. obedience. Am I missing anything else? No. So we got done with that class in January, and then um, we both went right back into secondary school detection school, um, where my dog got certified in explosive detection. Um, again, that was through Boston Police Canine Academy, and that was a 10-week course. And um, 
Mike's dog got certified in narcotics, six weeks course through uh, Plymouth County. Okay, very nice. Um, so what are you showing the kids here uh, today? Um, basically everything that we just explained to you. We're going to do um, some brief demonstrations on what the dogs are capable of doing. Um, we're going to run through um, basically what I just told you, what we're capable of, um, bring out some equipment, explain what each one of those is used for in our training, and then uh, we'll bring the dogs out and show you some exercises. So what I'm going to have my dog do is going to be called an evidence search. So in my pocket here I have a knife. I'm going to throw it, I'm going to throw it out into the grass. I'm going to throw it out into the grass. He's not going to be able to see it. He's just going to look, with, he's going to search with his nose. And he's going to let me know when he found it by laying down on it.